Well, hello. Thank you for visiting GB Books for Kids. This is Nana B. Happy Easter to all my little friends. Today's book is an Easter story about an Easter parade. That's where all the children got together in the town and looked for colored eggs. You may have done that this morning, too. It's such fun. Nana B. loves searching for colored eggs. Today's book title is titled Bunny, Duck, and Eggs. And it is extraordinary and extra special. Nana B. would like to remind you of all the books in the GB book series for children. The first book, Boo, Garrett, Boo. That's a story about Garrett who wants to scare everybody with his costume. But strange things are going to happen. Boo, Garrett, Boo. The second book is Reindeer Rumble. This is about Santa and his wonderful and very strong reindeer. But you know what? They have a little bit of a problem going on. The next book is Buggy About Bugs. Can you imagine what this story is about? You're right. It's going to be about a bug, especially a bee. Funny story. You will love it. And Bunny, Duck, and Eggs is the book that we will be reading today. I should say, Nana B will be reading today. My last book, but more books are coming, is for Pete's sake. Do you like snakes? Zzz, they crawl and creep around. And that's what this book is all about, for Pete's sake. How did chocolate rabbits come about? Something extraordinary happens at the Easter parade. The story is so exciting with an extra dose of funny. Beware if you dare because you will fall off your chair laughing. Excellent! Nana B will continue her story and just a reminder all my books are on Amazon in paperback and digital format. So let's continue our story for today. One day, Garrett Bradley broke his mom's vase. He was playing ball in the house. Garrett disobeyed, so Mom read him a story how chocolate rabbits came about. Out. So stay tuned. The Easter Bunny merrily hopped down the grassy trail. He has pink, fluffy stand up ears, big feet, and a puffy white cotton tail. On his back, he carries a basket of Easter eggs colored grand. Easter Bunny swings his arms and he brags that he has the best colored eggs in the land. As Bunny skipped along the trail, he whistled his favorite song. <whistles> the birds were all singing, tweet, 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 and the day was sunny. Surely nothing could go wrong. Easter eggs. Don't you love Easter eggs? You can color them, you can paint them, and of course, once you peel them, you can eat them. Isn't that a beautiful colored striped egg? Let mom help you in the kitchen because they can make a big mess, says Nana B. Nana B makes a big mess in her kitchen every time she makes colored eggs. Oh no, all of a sudden, wouldn't you know, Bunny tripped on a rock when it hit his big toe. He has big feet and long legs. But 
But what happened to all his colored eggs? Remember, Bunny had beautiful colored eggs. Let's find out, says Nana B. Bunny was going to the Easter parade, and these were the best colored eggs Bunny has ever made. Look how pretty they are. <gasps> but with a loud bunny voice, he spoke. Let's find out what he said. With a loud voice, Bunny spoke. What will I do? My colored eggs are all broken. Oh, the sad rabbit was sniffing. He was sobbing and he was sulking. Poor Bunny. Oh my, all of Bunny's eggs are cracked and broken. Oh boy. What happened next, Nana Bee? Along came a duck who saw the whole thing. The mallard asked, Hey, what other eggs did you bring? Bunny cried like a baby. You silly goose! I don't have any more eggs! Can you help me? Bunny begged the nosy mallard, Please, please, and doubly please. Bunny wiped the dirt off his knees. Well, the duck stroked his chin and thought for a second, Bunny, you're in trouble. Here's what I think. Why don't you make egg salad? Everyone likes egg salad. Well, that was the advice, said the silly mallard. Bunny was happy, and he thanked the kind bird. Why, duck, that is the smartest thing I have ever heard. You are the coolest bird in the nest. You're right. I can make egg salad sandwiches. Wow, that's the very best. Well, Bunny picked up his eggs. He ran home and made egg salad. That was the bright idea given to him by the silly and very nosy mallard. Can you see on the picture where it says egg salad? You have a little sandwich there with eggs on it. And there's a witch and there's a sand. Sand witch. So, really? Egg salad sandwiches? I'm a PBJ all the way. Or oh, cheese, please. But not egg salad. Bunny got to the Easter parade. The sidewalks were crowded and everyone was there. It was the largest turnout for the Easter fair. But the children started to look around. No colored eggs could be found, not in the bushes or on the ground. When they couldn't find the eggs, the boys and girls frowned. All their smiles went upside down. The children began to shout, and together they all spoke out, pointing to Bunny. Where are our colored eggs? Where did they go? You had better tell us, because we want to know. So, Bunny smiled. Uh, this year, I thought I brought something special for you. Egg salad sandwiches on brown bread. Hmm, that is what Bunny said. 
knowing the children were angry, Bunny fled. Hearing their children cry, all the parents were sad. They took their children to the candy store, hoping that candy maker would make them glad. Everyone was in doubt until the candy maker stirred a pot. You know, rumor has it that Bunny jumped in to hide, but he couldn't get out of the pot. And that's how chocolate rabbits came about. Well, which one do you like better? Chocolate rabbits or egg salad sandwiches? You know, Nana B loves chocolate rabbits. When I was a little girl, I would eat the ear off the chocolate rabbit. That would be my first bite. Now, my sister, her chocolate rabbit would last until Halloween and it'd be all melted and icky. Couldn't eat it by then. But I love chocolate rabbits. I eat the ears first and then I bite the feet. What do you do when you eat your chocolate rabbit? Well, you know, there was a lesson we learned today. Nana B wants to review that with you with the wise old owl. What do you say, Mr. Owl? Well, what did you learn today? The first lesson, I'm a wise old owl and we have three lessons to learn. The first lesson is sometimes true. Your first choice is not always what you should do. Did you get that? Your first choice is not always what you should do. And uh, let's see. The second lesson. I'm the wise old owl. The second lesson is always true. Don't play with something that can easily be broken or you will end up crying, pouting, and sulking. Listen to mom's rules. No playing ball in the house. During prayer, be as quiet as a little mouse. Well, again, the wise old owl is going to tell you. The third lesson. This should never be forgotten. Kids, I want you to remember the third lesson. Do not take advice from a nosy duck who is talking and squawking. Got it? When in doubt, you ask your mom dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, pastor, priest, rabbi, teacher, or preacher, what you should do. That's the best advice this wise old owl can give to you. Well, my little visitors today, Nana B read Bunny Duck and Eggs, It's Your Easter Story, and of course, the story has ended. And there you can see Bunny in his airplane flying high in the sky. But you know what? There's more things to do. So let's take a look at the next page. Are you ready? Let's turn our page. In all of Nana B's books, there's always some fun activity to do at the end of the story. As you can see, it says color and count. There's jelly beans right there. Let's start counting them, but I am not going to give you the answer. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46... There's more than 46. You'll have to count them. I'll give you just a couple of more seconds. The next page in Nana B's book is actually find the words, but that would be hard to do on a screen. So this one is draw a line to the pictures that rhyme. Get it? Line and rhyme with these words. And the words that Nana B wants you to rhyme are rock and funny. Let's take a moment. Just take a look at the pictures. So, and you noticed in Nana B's books, most of the story rhymes, and rhymes is kind of like what I just said. Draw a line to the picture that rhymes. They sound alike, but they're not alike. So we have rock, and when you have rock, there's a block, and there's a sock, and there's a, you got it. And then there's funny, and there's funny, and there's sunny, and there's money. Wow. And there's also two others there. Can you find them? So funny, you have money, you have sunny. And there is another one and another one. I hope you find them. But you know what? I'm going to tell you what they are. Funny, bunny, and honey, and sunny. That was our rhyming for today. And maybe throughout the day with your brothers and sisters or mom and dad or even grandma and grandpa, maybe you could play a rhyming game with them too. It is so much fun. It'll make you think about lots of words. Anyway, Nana B wants to wish you a very, very happy Easter. And don't eat too much chocolate. Nana Beast is signing off. Love you all.